What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we are going to play some Judgment. You see, I did get the uh, number one weekly winner this week, so that is my 12th one of that badge. Let's turn up the music a bit, and like I said, we're going to do some Judgment. I think I'm going to do the first match and commentate over it and the draft, and then I will do the rest of the run probably on stream, and if I did that, then you'll see the results of the run and the rest of the run on my other channel, Nerp Stream, is where I'll upload the stream. Uh, and that's actually going to be uploaded probably before this video. Hmm. So, okay, by the way, sorry if you can hear the washing machine go. Not too great stuff so far. I have, I just want to say, my last judgment run, I did not like stream it or record any videos of it, but it was so, the deck was terrible. It went, it went to, it went to, five order and six energy but i managed to get five wins with it i don't know how i think i played against weak opponents uh but yeah and it only had like 12 creatures and it went to six energy and five order and no wrap stuff i don't even think i don't even think i had to replenish so yeah i don't know how i got uh, five wins with that so Ash Runner is kind of bad. All the, every scroll in this row isn't too good. I mean, Ranger's Bane I think is okay. It has like removal, so I'll grab that. Wetland Ranger is good here. Storm Knight is decent. Festering Freak is decent. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Samata Shift. I mean, at worst, it's just a creature. You might get really lucky with it. Another Wetland Ranger and there's a Curse Monger, so we could go with like. Doesn't look like we have it much order stuff, so I'm going to take the Festering Freak here over the Storm Knight. Um, so it looks like we have the choice of either Decay or Growth here. I can go Double Butlin Ranger, Kinfolk Ranger, or Bear Power Crimson Bull. Or I can go like Revenant, uh, Curse Monger, Mudo Fighter. I think Growth looks better, so I'll take the Butlin Ranger. Binder is pretty good. Another Butlin Ranger. Hmm. Here I could take Bear Paw, which is really nice on Wetland Rangers, but I'd rather just take the creatures. So I'll take the Kinfolk Ranger over the other scrolls in the row, and not much growth stuff. I'll take the Binding Root. Yeah, not much growth stuff anymore. So now we think of a second color. So far we only have one Decay scroll, so it's, we're really not tied to anything. Rose Beam Potion is amazing, so I might just want to have that in the deck. Uh. There's also Desperation, which could be an interesting splash. I'll start with the Rose Beam Potion. Crown of Strength is interesting. That's a good enchantment. I'll take the, I don't know, Desperation. Uh, Tempo Theft. Crown of Strength. Not getting growth stuff. I need the growth stuff I got earlier. Pertinence, I don't have any beasts. It does have replenish though. So I kinda like that. Maybe I'd rather take that than the pilgrim's feet. But I have no beasts. Yeah, I, I guess I'll take the growth scroll. And I need to replenish. Still not really good growth creatures. I'll take the flip. Um Sure, Gallant Defender. Uh Underdog Spite, and I'll take the Wrist Beam Potion. Leeching Ring. Okay, where are where are growth creatures? Please, please give me growth creatures. Uh, sure, Blockwing Brood. Earth Bond gives Mattress and wants a solid. It's okay, Enchantment, I'll take that. I'm not sure, maybe I should have gone with the more Decay stuff. It seems like that's what I have better. I don't know. This, this draft seems to really have derailed. Yeah, it looks like Decay would have been good. Which means I should give me growth. Alright. But Decay I don't think would have been that good because Decay is just... I don't know, Decay and Judgment. Another 2 drop is decent. Yeah, I would have had a couple of Necrogens. But I don't know. I think this is a pretty bad draft. I've been stuck with a lot of just like random stuff. Fierce Tactics. Earthen Mirth. Earthen Mirth is good. I can get that on a Wetland Ranger and deal... Massive damage every turn. Uh, Regenerator. Another crown of strength. Alright, here we go. Earthen Mirth. Earthborn Mystic is great. And now we have a Jarl Urhald. Okay, so this got very interesting. Now, what that does, basically, is 
really screws up our curve though because right now we're only going to what four growth do I really want to jump to eight growth I'm gonna do it Urhal just has too much potential it's like the Rangers Bane Ross Gale IV guard now we're getting good stuff all right it's certain it's think I think it's went back to growth's favor should I take a three drop or the four drop straight finger is probably better for its cost but I have more four drops than three drops. actually no I've I have Mystic, Growthworm Keeper, and I have the Wallen Rangers, so it's actually equal, right? And I also have the Samana Shift, so oh, Samana Shift Urhalt, yes, yes, give me Samana Shift Urhalt. Okay, right, I'll take the Strike Pin Mark here, do I take a third Ranger's Bane, or the Druid Burial Ground? I'm going to take the third Ranger's Bane, just having removal like that in Growth can be really valuable. Uh, let's take this. I guess another Earth Bond. Still looking for growth stuff. It's gonna be a pretty darn bad deck. It's gonna have like 10 creatures. But I'll see if I can scratch out a win or two. Who knows? Maybe I'll scratch out like 5 wins. Eternal Statue. Uh, Earthborn Keeper. Now they take the Owl or the Transition. I probably have to take the creature, right? Yeah, I'll take the creature. Um, Pilgrim's Feet and an Aging Knight. Yep, so this is a bad deck. We're gonna see if we can make it work. High on enchantments. Hmm. Well, actually, 11 creatures. We have the Eye of Eagle. And we have some auto shift, so I guess it's more like 12 creatures. Now we can go with order stuff, or we can go with decay stuff. Decay is going to. We have ramp with return station, but the rest of the stuff's more like I think order is gonna be better. Yeah, definitely. And this actually gives me growth, so I definitely have that. You know, I think I'm just gonna put in. I mean, I have replenish here. What's replenish? I have a pertinence. Is that my only replenish thing? Didn't leeching ring used to have replenish or earth bond used to have replenish? Oh well. Uh, roast bean potion woodland. Crown of Strength, I really like the enchantments. Maybe the flip. Do I want to get rid of any of the growth stuff? I kind of want to keep the creatures. Maybe I should get rid of the fierce tactics. I mean, my big creatures are relentless anyways, be a thing there. Or I mean, fierce tactics could, could do well though. If it's on a, like if I have an outcast rebel attacking that turn, I really need to do stuff. I kind of want to get the Pilgrim's Feet and maybe the Faith Duty in. Nah, I think that's pushing it. Let's just keep it how it is right now. We'll leave out Pilgrim's Feet and Faith Duty. We have enough enchantment. So we're going to call this Growth Order. Um, let's save the deck so when I stream it later if I do, I can have that on the side of the screen. And let's queue for a match. So I'll be back when one is found. Okay, match is found. Let's join that. And it is against Sympathy. Start with IE at the end. Good luck, have fun. And this is most likely going to be a mulligan hand. I don't think I really want the Urhals on my starting hand. And I have no creatures. So, I mean, although this deck is really short on creatures, oh, it's not that short on creatures. I think I might do okay though, because I have low cost creatures. I have like a nice curve of two, three, and four growth creatures yeah so I'm gonna mulligan this and this is better at least I can play an owl early on I'll get rid of the early fierce tactics um, I think I'm gonna be playing that owl and then enchanting it with earthbond right away to get a little healthier but still it's only gonna be dealing one damage per turn I don't know maybe I'll get like an earthen mirth on it or something I'm not sure how I'm going to get into order I mean it's probably gonna be worth it for me to go in order considering I have all these nice spells slash enchantments and I have uh, the Wolden Memorial, which increases my growth. But it's going to be awkward just sacrificing for, for... Well, I might have an opportunity if I don't... Right, he goes with an owl. Um, I'll keep that one on Rangers. I want to go owl. I'm going to get rid of the Rose Sabine Potion. We have a lot of one counts on creatures in this deck. Rose Sabine Potion might not be that valuable. So I'll play the owl. And... 
Yeah. So both of our guys can fly around, but they can't really do much. And maybe we're both gonna be end or maybe we both will end up enchanting our owls. Yeah, so I was considering going for sorry about that's the phone ring. I was considering going for order. Um because I was just going to play two drops in growth anyways, but now that I've top deck that Blood Ranger, I think I'm just going to go for three growth and then four growth, because I want to get that Blood Ranger out as soon as possible. That will let the Owl have two, two attack. Okay, so he goes with the two creatures on turn three play. Uh, what Ran what Kinfolk Ranger I think is good. I'm going to get rid of the Flip. We have Replenish, so I mean Flip, maybe I should have kept that, I don't know. I'll play the Kenfolk Ranger in front, and uh, so his Noidi is going to attack before my Wetland Ranger, my, I mean my Kenfolk Ranger, but my Kenfolk Ranger is going to attack before his Frostbeard. He goes to 4, hopefully we don't see him play like a Wetland Ranger, or like a strong 4 drop, but it's probably, yeah, he plays a with the Wolf. It's a, little, it's a little threatening. Now I guess I'll get down the Wetland Ranger, oh brother, I mean Binding Root, uh, Binding route is interesting. I th think I should keep keep that. I'm not sure what to get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of the Eternal Statue. Keep the enchantments. And believe it or not, I'm going to put you in front. I know you want to keep the four health units in front versus growth because of Kinfolk Veterans, but this is Judgment, and he's top saying so he can't even play Kinfolk Veteran next turn. I'd rather protect that, that ranger. So, he can't really move down because I have all my creatures attack the next turn. I don't know. I think the uh, Earthborn Mystics can be really valuable, valuable in this deck because of all my enchantments. He doesn't have anything super strong that would be worth binding rooting. Like if he played like a like I mean a, the four drop that he played could have been strong, but I mean Brother of the Wolf is not really something you want to bind root because he could still summon wolves. And they can just run around, so if he played like a Shark Fang rather than that'd be a good binding root target. Okay, Sympathy is looking through his stuff. Eternal Statue, alright. <laughs> Maybe we have pretty similar decks. If he plays out of there, that's really not going to be much of a factor right now. And now I... Oh, there's the Earth Mystic. I'm not going to move up because... Or actually, I could move up. I could get rid... I'm going to pitch the Earth Bond. Because what I'm going to do... Earthen Mirth, that's nice. This turn, I think I'm going to move up with everybody. Knowing these guys are ruined, this is why I wanted the Kinfolk Ranger in front. I'm going to move up with them, play the Earthborn Mystic, and then I... Actually, maybe I just want to... Uh, maybe I don't want to bind root. Because chances he has something to kill this Wetland well Ranger are not that high. And I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to try to save that bind root. Because this owl only has one attack. Alright, so let's pray. And uh, and now if he if he does just kill this, he won't be able to actually destroy Middle Idol right now, which would be good for me. All right, A Woodland Memorial in my hand now. I guess I'll be waiting for something with Replenish to do stuff. Both on four resources, both of us in. Uh, this is a very close match, I think. Looks like he's controlled the middle of the board early on, especially with that No ID uh, with the Replenish into Frostbeard play. Like, some people actually play No ID and construct it in normal aggro growth decks, uh, just because he's not good for a three drop, but then you can play uh, him and he basically costs zero if you have at least three resources. You kinda get what I'm saying. Okay, so he's gonna move down, kill that, and I mean maybe I should have bought him because I would at least save this Kinfolk Ranger. I don't know. Oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't. I probably should have bought him rooted there because he's gonna be able to spawn a wolf. Or, well, he moves up. 
Hmm. Please don't have a way to kill my ranger. Alright, it doesn't look like he does. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll be fine with that. And I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the... Well, I'm going to move up to kill the Noiety. I'm going to go to the Will Memorial for scrolls. Alright, I kind of want to hit an idol with this Wallen Ranger, but at the same time I want to be in the middle of the board. I'm going to hit the idol. I think it's too important now that I hit the idol, so I'll move you back like that. I'll put a Wallen Ranger up here to absorb a hit, and then I'll just move the, the Earthworm Mystic slightly. Alright, didn't want to kill the Frost, the frost Beer, so that's tur that turn. I mean, his Owl would then have three attack. So he, what does he have? Is that th three frost beers in a second? No, that's only a second. I didn't, I didn't destroy the first. Haven't had a chance to really use the earth and earth yet because his creatures haven't had much health so far. I still have all my creatures attacking next turn, so I look to be in pretty good shape. We'll see though. We'll see. Okay, moves up with the brother of the wolf. So I won't be able to really reach him, especially behind that. And he gets another pro level wolf out. Um, and that means I'm just going to have free reign on his creatures towards the bottom of the board. Will he be able to kill them all? I mean, he's probably just going to move down so I can only kill the frost beards in front. Hmm. We'll see what sympathy does. I'm tempted to just go for growth to try to get to that Arl faster. I mean... I guess it's there. I could get really lucky with Samada Shift. I'm really hoping one of these matches I'm going to get it with Samada Shift. Okay, so he says I'm going to be able to do some nice stuff. I will... I guess, I'd, I guess I'll... Do I want to do, hit the idols or what? No, I think I just want to kill everything. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll kill absolutely everything. Probably should have sacrificed before that. I'm just gonna go for growth. I'm gonna try to get to that uh, Urhal because once I get that Urhal on the board, I think it's gonna be just game over. So I'm just gonna play Ranger's Main this turn. Play it on that Brother of the Wolf. We'll slowly die. I could play the. I, I mean, he's going to be able to um, move down and kill this. So maybe I should have Binary did it. But it's gonna. I don't know. I could have Ranger's Bane this one and Binding Rooted that one, but I just don't feel good about Binding Rooting a Brother of the Wolf. So I'll let him kill that. I guess, did I did I have an option of using this Wallet Ranger on the top and this one on the bottom? Because then I would have kept the one with more health safe. I don't know. Okay, so he's going to move down, kill that. And goes to five, or sorry, he's... Trying to keep us being on resources, and he plays an owl. Okay. And a verdant bell. So that thing's not going to be binding rooted. This brother can get a wolf like over like the entire board. I'm just going to move up. I mean, yeah, we could see a, a rocket wolf. Whatever. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for resources. Yep. And uh, I'm going to actually get get uh, Earth and Earth on this guy. I'm going to start doing some big idle damage. These idols are pretty pretty hurt. I should be able to uh, maybe squeak out a quick win. Um, so I should have only one... One more, like, kind of dead turn, and then I'll be able to play the Urholds. And the Urholds inspiring could be really useful, considering I'm probably going to have a bunch of creatures attacking. Alright, hopefully there's not an Earthen Mirth. He has an Earthen Mirth that's really bad. No Earthen Mirth. No Earthen Mirth. Earthen Mirth to destroy. Ah, he had the Earthen Mirth. That is really bad for me. Um, That really dampers things, doesn't it? 
Uh, what to do? What to do? Now, Frost Gale is. I mean, I want to go to seven so I can play the Urhal the next turn. But I need to play something to protect him, or I could just bind him with this, which I don't really want to do. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice a scroll to draw, draw something. Samada Shift. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna be playing that right here. We'll see what we get. Eh. I guess I can't ask for much better. And now, I guess I'd rather give you up. Okay. I can't find you or you because you have ward from the Verdant Veil. Vale. Alright, come on. Hopefully I top deck a creature so I can play it and go up to seven. Yeah, so going four to seven, uh, four to eight uh, to play the Arl or Hald is tough, but it's probably going to be worth it because this guy basically attacks every turn because he'll just hit the idol and get his pillage effect and he's just going to be a monster. But man, I looked like I was in a really good spot after uh, before, until that uh, Ragged Wolf, Earth and Mirth play, because he had the other Ragged Wolf from the Brother of the Wolf. Until that, it looked to be in perfect perfect shape, but now it's pretty close. I mean, this guy's attacking every turn with five attacks, that's good for me. I think I'm still going to win this. Because now it looks like I kind of have the center of the board. I mean, this guy's going to die next turn. Even if I lose this guy, I mean, I'm gonna, as long as I have this this Bolton Ranger surviving and a Jarl Urhold, I should just do just fine. And he's actually going to spawn a wolf. So if he's not going to be able, to, he's not going to kill this outcast Urhold. I'll be happy. There's another warm body on the field that I can uh, use as a chump blocker, basically. And there's another brother of the wolf. So he has a bunch of brothers of the wolf. This guy. And he moves down like that. Not totally sure why he moved down there. Uh, I should probably take out the owl while I can with this wetland ranger. I wish I could muster up two attack with this earthborn keeper. I'm tempted to sacrifice for scrolls and not play the Urhald Ar yet, just so I can get this guy's attack up. I'm gonna do that. All right. Let's uh, first let's play the IAB Eagle. Stripe Bang Bear. Eh. There's not a very high chance I'm going to be able to. Actually, I don't even think I have a one drop in the deck, so yeah. I'm just going to go for seven now. I'll play the Stripe Fang Bear. I, I guess I'll move into this Brother of Wolf's path. And. I don't know. I will. I want to protect you with everything I have. So whatever. I'll just play this thing right there. And deal one damage there. Alright. And finally. That brother of the wolf dies. But there's still two more brothers of the wolf. I mean all the little wolves. Will be just easy killing. For the big relaunch dudes. And this, this thing there is a. Very good threat. Yeah, so the deal really idle damage plan kind of didn't work out. So he's going to be able to, able to take out this Earthborn Keeper just by just spawning a wolf with this Brother of the Wolf. I really hope he doesn't. Maybe he'll he'll kill this Alcazar wolf instead. Because this Alcazar was going to be able to get the two attack, three attack next turn because I'll get the Inspiring 2 from the Jarl Urhald. If all goes to plan, I'll get a Jarl Ur Urhald out. And with 7 health, he should be able to survive long enough to start getting his pillage going, and he'll just be a monster attacking every turn. Okay, good. Is this going to survive? Okay, well, so he's going to kill this. And fine. Now, I'm going to get this Yarl out. Pertinence, I'd really love to keep you that keep you for that replenish, but I don't have any do I even have any beasts in the deck? Should I have kept this in the deck? I don't know. 
Uh, so you're gonna have three attack. So I could I could either kill these two or these two basically. I think I should kill the things that are attacking, right? Yeah, that saves you from being just destroyed by the ragdoll from this guy. So I'll play you, and I will go ahead and do that. So now, yeah, this this is what I wanted to happen. I have this Yarl, this Yarl is alive, and this uh, well, Elden Yarl is alive, and they should be good to go. Now I'm top decking, but at least I can sacrifice your scrolls now. Just keep getting it. I just want to sacrifice your scrolls now and get more jump blockers. I may have already drawn like all the creatures in the deck though. Okay. We seem to have the center of the board. He's just surrendering. So GG to Sympathy. Um, I guess he didn't really see a way for him to combat this earthen mirthed Wetland Ranger or this Jarl Erhold. So we're gonna take a game one win. And uh, I guess that'll be it for the video. So again, there's probably a video right there on my second channel, Nerp Streams, right now with the rest of this Joshua run, so you can see what happened with it. Hopefully it went to five wins. Um, so, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.